Good morning, everybody. I have my nutritionist education this morning, and I just wanted to start off by saying that, um, you know, this should just be basic education today. Um, going in for, I think, an hour class, and I believe it should just be a one-on-one -on -one class. I don't think it should be a group class like I went to for the VSG. Um, the duodenal switch class today because I, it is such a a new, I don't think it's a new procedure, but it is a, a minimal usage procedure with the group that I am with, which is a uh, CREOS. Uh, surgery group in Delaware um, they have limited use of this they only use it for certain cases and um, my case is a revision from the VSG um, just to give you a few stats I'm not going to go into all of my stats because it's kind of boring but um, March 28th of 2016, I went in for VSG, um, lost about 70 pounds, and have started regaining some of that weight. Um, I do all that is required of me. I take my vitamins every day. I do about 60 um, to a gallon of water every day. Um, I do almost 100 grams of protein every day and limit my carb intake. Um, I could probably limit my carb intake a little bit more, but after speaking with my nutritionist, she thought that I wasn't getting enough carbs because of my um, exercise regimen. I go to the gym um, a minimum of five times a week, and I'm doing about a half hour of cardio and a half hour of weights every day. And my cardio is either elliptical uh, stair stepper or treadmill. Um, my vitamins that I take every day are a multivitamin, a B12 every other day, and uh, calcium chews, and and a biotin. And that's it for my, my vitamins as of right now. The Of course, that will all change once I have the DS, but, you know, of course, we have all the hurdles to go through of, you know, doing the classes and then getting the insurance to approve it. Uh, my insurance, for those of you who haven't been following along, has been not the most cooperative. Um, they do not pay for the doctor's visits that have anything to do with obesity or deal with weight loss. And December 11th is my clearance date from the doctor's office, the surgeon's office. So um, hopefully by December 11th, everything will be submitted to insurance and it can take up to about a month for approval. And then um, hopefully it'll take less because I would like to get it done by the end of December, beginning of January. And then hopefully by the end of December, beginning of January, I will have my surgery and be on the road to recovery and be on the revision um, path. Um, if you don't know anything about duodenal switch, um, they take the my already sleeved stomach and they will um, basically resection it at the duodenum and reattach it and the duodenum at a common channel and have about a hundred centimeter common channel before it reattaches to the large intestine completely bypassing the small intestine, which will lead to 
uh, malabsorption and it will give me malabsorption on top of the smaller stomach. Well, I am completely nervous about it. Um, I'm excited about it, but you know, it's a lifelong change in the digestion track. So there are complications that can come with that. There are changes in the body that come with that. There are, you know, things that can arise and hopefully all of those things will be minimal, but, um, With all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here and get ready for my appointment and I will, you know, catch up with you after the appointment. Hey guys, I, as you can see, I'm in my car. I am on my lunch break. Um, I had my uh, nutritionist appointment this morning and um, as expected, it was everything that I thought it was going to be. Um, I will preface this by saying that, you know, I've gone through these nutritionist classes before, and so this is kind of a expedited series for me. Um, I would not expect them to go as quickly for anybody who is doing this for the first time, and I would not expect them to um, have individualized classes for you as they are doing them for me. Um, as a matter of fact, the nutritionist was kind of surprised herself that they weren't having me go to the normal classes, and they were doing set-up one-on-one classes. Um, just for me, um, but she was very happy to know that they were doing an expedited series for me. Um, because it is a waste of time for me, because this packet of information that she gave me is the identical packet of information that they gave me for my VSG, with the exception of one single paper um, that is new. So. I'll start with that piece of paper and I'll tell you what's on it um, and then I'll get into the other packets of information and I'll try to go quickly because it's a lot of information that I really don't need to go into great detail about. The first one um, that she gave me was Duodenal Switch Nutrition Notes and it basically is just telling me special considerations to think about while I am preparing for this surgery. Um, it says protein goals are 90 grams for females and 100 grams per day for males. Um, these are minimums. So you need to get high quality protein supplements because it's hard to reach those minimum requirements per day. Um, the vitamin requirements are higher because of malabsorption. Um, you need to have vitamin levels of A, D, E, and K. Uh, they actually are recommending uh, vitamins called Celebrate, um, which are chewable um, with extra fat-soluble vitamins. Um, they also inc say to increase calcium to 1,800 milligrams a day. And they also say to increase your iron based on your labs. So that's all on top of my required um, vitamins that I already take, which is the B12 and the one a day vitamin that I take. Um, and then it goes in to talk about bowel changes, which just say that it's a temporary bowel change. Um, which can cause diarrhea because of the mal um, absorption, but that's just temporary unless I have issues with um, fat in my diet or lactose intolerance or any kind of sugar alcohol problems. Um, and that can also be issues with certain fruits known as stone fruits, 
which is peaches, watermelons, prunes, mangoes, apples, pears, blackberries, and even avocados. Um, so that's it for the first page. That was the only page that was different. Um, the first packet that was given to me is life skills for bariatric surgery. And, you know, it's it talks about everything. It talks about nutrition, uh, psychology, exercise, and then your final preparation. Um, it talks about protein, and then it goes into each of the surgeries. So gastric sleeve, gastric bypass, and gastric banding. So it doesn't talk anything about duodenal switch in this packet. Nothing. So, that being said, she said, read through it, kind of look at all of it, take into consideration that, um, you know, it's going to be bare minimum of meeting the maximums of what is recommended in here because of the malabsorption and then having to increase protein beyond what is recommended in here um, really focusing on the psychological aspect of it because your motivation um, your mindfulness um, really can be affected and even exercise may need to change because you may need to increase weights training rather than cardiovascular training um, to really focus on maintaining muscle. So I will go through that packet, which I've already done once before. And then I have a homework packet, which basically is going through and keeping a daily food diary, which I don't have to do in here. I keep my fitness pal, which she said is completely okay. Um, just keep doing my fitness pal um, for, you know, at least one good full week of my fitness pal records. And then um, the last couple pages in here, I have to write down a suggested meal plan for a liquid diet, a full liquid diet for a week, or for one day, excuse me, what a suggested full liquid menu would be for one day, meeting 100 grams of protein, and then what a full um, one day menu on the pureed diet would look like, meeting 100 grams of protein. So, I've done that before, not a big deal. Um, it's pretty simple, you know, uh, you just have to plan your meal for the day. There's even samples in the back of what uh, a menu would look like. And then my next appointment is in a week to meet with her again to go over that stuff. And then about two weeks after that, I have my final appointment and a clearance, and that's it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up for now because I think I'm kind of encroaching upon that 15 minute mark, which your, your uh, YouTube is. Uh, trying to limit us to, so I'm going to wrap up and sign off for now, but I wanted to let you guys know what all we talked about today, and um, I'll keep you guys posted on how things kind of progress throughout the next coming weeks. Yeah.